Faith is with us in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Faith. How are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, I'm calling in. Um, I'm in a car loan that I'm des- desperately trying to get out of, and I'm in a roadblock, and I just don't know which way to go. Can you help me? I'll try. How much do you owe on the car? Uh, about 26000 Woo! And what's the car worth? Uh, about fifteen to 16 Who said? Uh, I looked up Kelly Blue Book. Private sale or wholesale? Uh, wholesale. So did you get ripped off on the car, or did you roll some negative equity from the last deal into this car? Well, I had lost my job, and uh, I got behind um, on the payments, about two to three payments. And I just recently found a job, and uh, that's kind of what got me as here because I'm not as making as much money as I was. No, I'm talking so, about your ten thousand dollars in the hole, which is unusual. Did, did mm-hmm. you trade a car that you owed more on than it was worth when you bought this one? Um, somewhat. They what they did was a full trade. That's what they told me. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. So, what is the interest rate on this loan? Um, 13. Mm, mm. And what's your income? Uh, about 15 a month. $1,500 a month? Yes. You make $18,000 a year and they loaned you 26000 on a car? Yes. Holy crap. <sighs> you working 40 hours? Uh, I'm working, well, yeah, you can say 40 hours right now. Would I say 60 or would I say 30? Uh, 30. (laughs) Okay. All right. Um, wow. And you're single, I can tell by the way you're talking, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, you're right. Um, I hear the distress in your voice and I hear how scared you are and I understand why this is a real mess. It's a real problem. Um, I'm also going to guess and say you don't have a lot of credit, do you? No, I don't. I never had credit Who is, cards. Who's the loan with? Uh, Capital One. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, do you, do you have a credit union? Yes. Okay. Um, there's two things that I see that you can do. One of the two. All right that are good okay. that are that are good there's bad things you could do like toss them the keys that's not a good idea okay a voluntary okay. repossession is not a good idea because they'll sell that car for 13,000 or 12,000 and sue you for 15 grand and yeah, we okay. don't want that okay so we don't we, we don't want to avoid a repossession okay. but you're you have bought as you know you have bought way more car than you can afford. You got ripped off on the purchase. I can tell that by what you owe on it versus what it's worth. And they're ripping you off on the interest rate. So, yes. I mean, you got kicked in the stomach, the teeth, and the back of the head. Yes, I am stupid. No, I'm not saying you're <laughs> stupid. I'm saying you got ripped off. You, you, yes. got, you got hammered with this deal. This deal is horrible, horrible. So yes. we got to get you out of it. And we got to learn our lesson in the process. So, yes, um, uh, uh, one thing we can do is go to the credit union and talk to them about loaning you the difference, the ten thousand dollars, just okay. on an unsecured loan. I think you're going to have trouble doing that, but I'm going to ask them because I would a lot rather owe ten thousand dollars than twenty six thousand dollars. Okay. And then you'd have to get you like a little beater one thousand dollar car. Okay. Yeah. Just something mm-hmm. to get around in until you get the mess cleaned up here. The second thing we've got to do is we need to get your income up. And so you're going to be delivering pizzas or rating tables or cleaning houses on the weekends. I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to do something and get your income up. Because if you can okay. add $1,000 a month working a lot of part-time hours or $1,500 a month working a lot of part-time hours to your Income, you, we've doubled your dadgum income. And if you did yeah. that and lived on what you make now and started throwing that at the car, Dad, you could pay the car down pretty quick to where you could sell it. 
Okay. But we, you know, we do, we, you're going to have to, you're going to have a year of 60 to 80 hour weeks doing something to get this mess cleaned up. Yes. And if you don't do that, you're going to have three years of cleaning this mess up after they sue you and garnish you your wages. So you don't want to get there by the repossession. So I really want you to get a really good paying part-time job. I don't know, again, what, what you want to do, what you've, uh, what do you do for a living now? Uh, I'm a massage therapist. Okay. Uh, can you just gear that up and start doing some in-home massages and that kind of thing? Yeah, I'm actually um, looking into um, broadening my, uh, my practice as of now. Yeah, you're going to have to broaden it like double. <laughs> Fast. Yeah. Where you have no life. Where you're sore from your give, giving so many massages. Okay? Yes, sir. You're going to have to go crazy for a period of time here. Because the good news is you got something there as a small business person. I mean, jump on Craigslist and, uh, or wherever you can do this with class and do it without uh, people misinterpreting the ads or something like that. You don't mm -hmm. want that. But, you, you know, you've got the ability here with your existing clients and things to, uh, you know, get friends and, and just work your tail off, kiddo. And that's the answer, is to get your income up, and uh, then you can get this thing paid down to 16000 and get rid of it. But right okay. now, it owns you. And so for the next year, you're going to be working for it. All right. That's what the Bible means when it says the borrower is slave to the lender. I've been right where you are. It's no fun. But the good news is you've you got a good career right there. You can, you can jack that up and make some money. But you're going to have to get on fire. You follow me? Yes, sir. Now, I'll also help you. I want you to go to our class on how to handle money called Financial Peace University. Have you ever heard of that? Uh, no, not exactly. Okay. It's nine weeks long. You go one night a week for nine weeks, and it's a class on how to handle money properly, how to get on a budget, how to get out of debt, everything to keep you from getting back in this mess again. And I'll pay for it and give it to you as my gift if you want to turn your life around. Yes, I do. All right. You hold on, and I'll have Laura pick up, and we'll give that to you. And then you call me back if you get scared or you get in a mess or you don't know what to do. But you need to jack up the number of sessions you're doing way up, double, triple what you're doing now. And that'll turn this thing around for you. Open phones this hour, 888 825 -5225. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. And so you have to break the cycle. You have to flip this thing on its head and make it behave. You've got to get so fired up and wired up that your broke friends think you've lost your mind.